Ready, Marshall? Ready, Murphy. Here we go. All right, now that you've got your bass fiddle in tune and you know how to hold the bass, Marshall's going to show you exactly how to pluck the strings. I'll just pull a couple of strings here, Murphy, and then uh, talk a little bit about hand position. As you can see, I've got my right hand down close to the end of the fingerboard. There's where the fingerboard ends, and I locate my hand in that area generally. And I've got my my thumb anchored, resting on the side of the fingerboard, as you can see there. And using primarily my first and second finger, index and second finger, and I've got got my fingers almost parallel to the strings so that when I pull I can really get a good a good pull, really pull the string hard when I want to. What you don't want to do at, at the moment, let's uh, concentrate on, on that position as opposed to having your finger uh, more or less perpendicular to the string and pulling with just the tips of the finger. Don't do that. Really get a good bit of the finger and you can really pull that string good and hard. Ready, Marshall? Ready, Murphy. All right, now we'd like to start talking about chords on the bass fiddle. Now, when the song calls for a G chord, when the guitar player is playing a G chord, the notes that you use on the bass fiddle are the G string, which of course is a G note, and the D string. So you play the strings alternately, G, D, G, D, and that's what the bass fiddle plays when a G chord is called for. Marshall, why don't you just play a few of those G and D notes for them? Okay, that's G. All right, now let's try that with the guitar. You ready, Marshall? Ready, Murphy. I'll right, count her off. One, two, ready, go. All right, you notice that the bass fiddle plays when the guitar plays its bass strings. The guitar plays a bass string and a strum. The bass fiddle doesn't play on the strum, just plays when the guitar's hitting the bass strings. All right, now, one way that may help you keep a lot of this stuff in your mind is to start thinking in groups of four, okay? Frequently a song will come up and you'll have four beats of G or you'll have four beats of D and things like that. So if you start thinking in groups of four, that may help you. So everything we do from now on is pretty much going to be thinking in groups of four. So we're going to start right now by playing four groups of the, the notes we use in the G chord. So I'm going to be counting, and I'm going to be one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and you're just going to be playing your G and D and concentrate on that feeling of four. Are you ready, Marshall? Yes, ready. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. One. Marshall? I'm ready, Murphy. Are right, you ready, Marshall? Ready, Murphy. Okay, ready, Marshall? Ready, Murphy.